They're afraid to speak out because they're afraid of getting evicted. JRK Holdings owns Manchester Lakes, and it receives federal tax credits and in exchange gives low rent to qualifying seniors. Those seniors are terrified of being kicked out because they'll have nowhere to go. This looks worse from the last time I saw it, but that develops quickly, the mold, you know. Christine Harris is trying to help her mother, 91-year-old Marianne Kowalski, who lives at Manchester Lakes. And in there, it's all dirty. She can barely hear, but she knows what we're talking about. So as of today, we still have no heat and we still have no AC, and this began in uh, about the end of June, I want to say. Kowalski pays full rent, $1,200 a month, but qualifying low-income residents pay much less as part of a federal HUD program that provides tax credits to JRK. The battles are every day, literally. I have called JRK management in California, can't get through to anyone there. I go to our rental office daily to try and find out when will the heat be fixed, when will the AC be fixed. I'm sorry, there's nothing we can tell you. We sent photos and a video of the broken system to Steve Nugent, who runs John Nugent & Sons, a local heating and air conditioning company. He was very concerned about the mold. The moisture is not being dealt with correctly, so we would want to be dealing with that problem very quickly because we wouldn't want anything to, you know, to start going and get worse uh, in the environment, which is eventually going to hurt people, their health and things like that. So it, it's, it's a serious problem that needs to be addressed. We walked with Christine to the manager's office, who did not want to be recorded. She told Christine that she was sending up a window AC for her mom and said a maintenance person from Georgia would be coming in on Monday to fix the heating system. Are you optimistic? <laughs> I'm always optimistic, but it, less so. It's, it's decreasing. <laughs> I left both written and phone messages to JRK in Los Angeles, but have not heard back. In Kingstown, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.